Well, today I want to encourage each one of you about the love of God. You know, we all need to know that God loves us to the ultimate degree because that is a very important aspect in our walk with God. You know, if you read in John chapter 3 verses 16, it says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. You know, the scripture here does not just say that God loved us. It says God so loved the world. You know, the word so is very important because it speaks about the ultimate degree of his love for us. Now, you may say, if God loves me so much, why am I going through this? You know, I have lost this. I have lost that. I have so much of problem. You now, let's just take a moment and leave that aside and let us focus on the scripture. Let us focus on the love of God. You know, when God saw you and he saw his son, he chose you and he allowed his son to die in our place so that if we believe in him, we shall not perish. Amen. You know, one thing we have to remember that we should not get confused with the disciplining and the correction of God to his love. Because the Bible says, whom God loves, he corrects. You know, when God loves us, he loves us so perfectly. He does not, he may not love everything that we do, but he loves us. He's not against us. He's for us. And maybe right now you are struggling with the thought that maybe God is mad at me, is angry with me. I want to tell you that God is not angry with you. He's not mad at you. He loves you. He does not make up his mind to love you. He has made up his mind to love you and he's always going to love you. You know, we think sometimes that if we do this or if I pay tithes or if I go to church and if I do everything then God will love me in that case you earn his love but you know what we don't earn his love we don't deserve his love he chooses to love us isn't that amazing and maybe right now you're saying that nobody loves you when you know that God loves you you can face any opposition you can face any rejection in life knowing God loves you, gives you stability in life, gives security in life. You know, I want to encourage all the viewers at this time, know that God loves you unconditionally. There is no strings attached. He loves you, he's for you, and he's not against you. Amen. God bless you.